All right, what are insurance companies looking for anyways? How are you supposed to get hired by them if you don't know what they want? Well, today we're gonna explain exactly what insurance companies are looking for in a new hire. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IA Path. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at IPATH, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to IPATH.com. Insurance companies basically make money one way, by properly assessing risk. They determine the possibility that Mr. Smith, a potential customer, will get in a wreck with his new Ford Mustang. They then figure out how much damage is likely to happen to a Ford Mustang if it's wrecked. Lastly, they determine the amount of money they'll need to collect each month from Mr. Smith to break even or even earn a profit on insuring him and others. They make this same calculation millions of times and in the end are able to bring in enough money to turn a profit even after covering customers that experience significant and even exceptional losses. They're constantly learning from their mistakes. They're tweaking their algorithms and adjusting their risk assessment. They are good at measuring the numbers. They learn what makes a good customer for their portfolio and they identify the ones to avoid. They can't afford to make too many mistakes on their initial risk assessment or they'll go bankrupt. Assessing risk then is their job and they're usually exceptionally good at it. Putting the odds in their favor is a habit, and when it comes to hiring people, they're no different. An insurance company isn't looking for the Michael Jordan of adjusters. They're looking for a safe bet. They want an employee that checks the boxes and one who has a solid work history, can do the job, and will stay with the company for multiple years. They're looking for a team player, a good human being, and most importantly, someone they can trust to take care of their insurance. As I talked with hiring managers and recruiters, asking them how candidates like you could gain an advantage and get a job, their answers boiled down to don't get eliminated. <laughs> now, you might be thinking, that's obvious. Of course I'm not supposed to get eliminated to get a job. Thanks, could I have my time back for this video? But that isn't really what they're exactly saying or meaning. What they mean is that you are in control of this process and you have a great shot at being hired as an adjuster, but it's your job to not blow it. Don't blow that opportunity. Don't be a risk. Be a good assessment. Be willing to do the work that makes your assessment look even better. So being a safe bet. Now that we know insurance companies don't like risk, our work is to make you look like a less risky bet. If we can turn you into a good looking bet, even better, but a safe bet is a must. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you write along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV. Now, when I was writing a book with John Bachman and we were interviewing these hiring managers, John loved to share a NASCAR analogy about this topic, 
when we're interviewing people. He would say, in NASCAR, they have a saying, you can't win a race on the first lap, but you sure can lose it on the first lap. If a race car driver is too aggressive or makes a mistake early on in the race, they could wreck their vehicle and never had a shot at winning. Steady progress and not taking too many risks, therefore, is the way to go when you want to get hired. This will be your strategy and mantra moving forward as you try to get a job as an insurance adjuster. Our step-by-step -step advice that we offer is about the insurance companies hedging their risk and needing to position you as a valuable asset and they don't wanna see you as a liability. Now, if you take our advice and follow the steps that we outline, you're gonna become a safe bet candidate for your dream job as an insurance adjuster. Now, with all of that being said, what are insurance companies actually looking for? Well, I hope that you caught that insurance companies are looking for a safe bet, but what do they really need for this specific job? Well, my best advice is to look at the job posting and description. The insurance company is telling you exactly what they're looking for in that position. It is your job to now craft your resume in a way that shows you meet as many of those qualifications and requirements as possible. This is why I'm a huge fan and proponent of creating custom resumes for each job you apply for. You aren't going to lie on your resume. You need to change the words that you use to describe your attributes by using the wording that's more closely aligns with the job description that the insurance company used. Do they use the word integrity or do they use the word trustworthy? It's the same thing, different words. The reason why this is so important is that companies use a computer system to sort through all the resumes to find out the best matches. If you use different words, your resume may be out in the cold. If you see a degree is preferred or recommended, you can often overcome this requirement by getting industry specific training. Go ahead and get your adjuster's license, get Xactimate training or auto damage certified to show you're committed to this industry. Now, why? Why would that work? Because all of those things make you look like a safe bet. Many new hires don't last as insurance adjusters. By showing that you took training and obtained your license on your own shows that you have an interest in this industry and are more likely to stick with it. If you need additional help on learning how to get a job at an insurance company, I'd recommend checking out a book John Bachman and I wrote called The Insurance Company Adjusters Playbook. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how to get hired and promoted by an insurance company. You can find it by heading to Amazon or by heading to iapath.com slash books. iPath is get off the couch, quit watching the Weather Channel, wishing you were gonna get work, and get out and experience the world because you're a working adjuster type of training. Head over to iPath.com to find out more. iPath, claim your life.